Sawaro! Sawaro! Take a seat, buddy. How are you, buddy? I'm good. Hello, everyone. Shall we take the shades off? Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Hello, everyone. Sawaro! Sawaro! My name is Noes Limbu, and this is... Kev. So today, we're here to learn Limbu language. First thing we're going to learn is what I is called, okay? Okay. So, so imagine the eye of a Mickey Mouse. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. So, just grab the, just get hold of the word Mickey. Mickey. And just yeah. remember, remember the word Mick. Okay. Okay. Got that. And that's exactly what I is called. It's called Mick. Mick. So, what is I? Mick. Easy. So, I is called Mick. Okay. okay. Now, it, this gets slightly complicated, okay? Let's move down to the teeth, okay? Yeah. So imagine in your teeth is a picture of a boy holding a bow. Okay. Okay? And it's because it's a boy, it's gonna be he. Yeah. Okay? So he plus bow is equals to? Boy. He. <laughs> <laughs> he plus bow is equals to he bow. He bow. Okay, okay. The teeth is called he bow. Hivo! Suwaro! Suwaro! Okay, we've got the eye, which is Mick. We've got Mick. the teeth, which is Hivo. Yeah. Okay, now, f drop the he, take the bow to the nose. Okay. Now, because there is no one holding the bow in the nose, it's yeah. gonna be na. Na. So na plus bow is equals to? Never. Never. <laughs> so the nose is now called Nabo. Nabo. Very easy. Very easy. Straightforward. Straightforward. Now, let's do the ears, okay? Okay. Ears is slightly complicated, but don't worry, you'll get this, okay? Yeah. So now, drop the bow. Take the na to the ears. Now, the reason why ears is so far behind is because these sense organs, it told the ears to go away. To go away, okay. So in Nepali, we have got a term called bhag, when you tell someone to go away. It's bhag. Okay, bhag. Okay. Slightly modify the word bhag to bhak. Bhak. So, yeah. you add the na plus bhak. Na bhak. Na bhak. Yay! That's exactly what ears are called. Na bhak. Yeah. Okay. Let's do a quick recap. So what's eyes? Eyes is uh... Mickey Mouse. Mick. Mick. Swaro. 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 Okay. Okay. No, uh, I'm sure you must have seen this picture, probably of some pirates, maybe where they, there is a guy, and he hasn't got a hand. Instead, there is a hook. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. The hook that's, handed. That's what hand is called. It's called hook. Hook, just Whoa, as easy as that. Easy as that, buddy. <laughs> so the hand okay. is called hook, like in the picture. Okay. Okay. Now let's learn something. So let's let's go with the upper body, okay? Yeah. So imagine you dropped on the floor, like probably a concrete floor, okay? Yeah. So your body is gonna make a noise. It's gonna produce a noise, and yeah. usually it's talk and a talk, talk. And that's exactly what the upper body is called. Talk, talk, talk. Absolutely. Right, okay. let's do a quick recap before you go on. So the eye is the eye of a Mickey Mouse, which is just Mick, so eye is Mick. called Mick. Mick. The teeth, there is a boy holding a bow. He plus bow. Boy. He bow. He bow. <laughs> <laughs> he bow. Go to the nose, there is no one holding the bow. It's Nabo. Nabo. Go to the ears, it's Na Vak. Na Vak. Absolutely. One. Hand. We haven't done the hand. Yes, we have. <laughs> yeah, wook. <laughs> Zawaro. And finally, the upper body, it makes the sound, sound tuck. So it's tuck. Tuck. Right. What else we can do? Okay. Let's do the food. Rice. The food, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, imagine someone puts uh, a plate of rice on a table. Now, yeah. it, it's, it's going to make a noise, isn't it? Usually, it's tuck. When it's, someone puts if it's a, a body. If it's, no, no, no. Talk. What is talk? Yeah, talk. But it's, okay. if it's a plate, it's going to be talk, okay? All right. But because, for some reason, let's assume that the table is wet. Yeah. Okay? Instead of talk, it's talk. 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 
And that's what rice is called. Talk! 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 Okay, now let's now do water. Water. Yeah. Okay. Imagine you're holding a newspaper. Yeah. Someone pours the water on top of the newspaper. It's going to tear apart. Yeah. And the noise it's going to make is tiat. 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 But because there's the water that's doing the tearing, yeah. it's now tiat. Tiat. Water is called tiat. Actually, that's quite a lot we learned today. So let's quickly do revise yeah, things we haven't we haven't recapped before. Yeah. So if you fall down and your upper body hits the concrete, it's gonna make a noise, which is tok tok, which is your not tok tok tok. Okay, which is your upper body. And uh, if someone puts a plate of rice in a table, the noise is gonna be tok. But because there's water on the table, it's going to be tok. So rice is called tok. tok. Yeah. And finally, that, yeah. you're holding a newspaper. Someone pours the water on top of the newspaper. It tears so apart. It Instead of chat, it's twat. Twat. Buddy. <laughs> Woo. Right. Quick. Getting there. Quick, quick test quick, for quick, you. Quick okay. Quick test. Yeah, yeah. What's, uh, what's eyes? Eyes. Mick. Mick. There Mick. we go. What's hand? Hook. Hook. There you go, buddy. Siwaro! Siwaro! Right, that's me and my friend here, Kev. Kev, I want them. Uh, I want you to tell them about about yourself, where you, which country you're from, and all that. Yeah, guys. Uh, my name's Kev, and um, originally I'm from Zim, and definitely enjoy learning your language. And I'm sure you guys can do it if I can do it, and I'm sure you guys can smash it. Absolutely, let's crack on. Let's crack on okay. See you part two. Part two. We'll be back with part two soon. The thing is with language, the reason why I did this language is because, you know, I have realized that the language is absolutely dying. Uh, even, especially the younger generations, they don't even realize that there is an, lim a language called Limbu language, which is, which is such a heartbreaking thing for me. And I'm sure that's the case in your country as well, yeah, in yeah, Zimbabwe. Because it's, uh, it's something special, like you have your own language. Absolutely. Ima imagine like you can go around people and you can just speak in your own absolutely. language. Absolutely, absolutely. In your own country. In your own country, yeah. <laughs> and no yeah, one yeah, understands yeah. you. So, so yeah. yeah, so if you're Limbu, please learn it. Or if you are a husband or a wife of Limbu, Make please sure. learn it. Or if you have Limbu friends, Make please sure. learn it. Or if you are trying to hit a Limbu boy or a girl, that's your phone. <laughs> that's my phone. Which, which is just going to keep ringing. <laughs> please learn this. And if you are a parent, yeah, please ensure you show this video to your kids so that they know there's a language called Limbu language and they can at least learn and create an interest in themselves. Until the next episode, this is me and this is my buddy Kev signing off. Sawaro! Sawaro!